Our world is built by many hands. And recently there has been a push to be more diverse and inclusive in the construction world, which is why Construction Inclusion Week kicks off on Monday. So here to share more, we have three members of COCAP, which stands for Central Ohio Construction Accelerator Partnership. We have Paul Schmidt with Messer Construction, as well as Marlise Ryan and Stan Hendricks with Gilbane Building Company. Thank you all for being with me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Stan, I want to start with you in, in kind of regards to this week because Gilbane was one of the founding members I was reading of, of this whole inclusion week. So tell us about it and tell us what you're hoping to do. So Gilbane Building Company, we believe that to attract, retain, and develop the best people, we really need to grow our culture in the industry to be truly inclusive. So Gilbane, as a founding member of Construction Inclusion Week, we truly believe that um, we need to um, uh, develop our, our teams and develop the, the, the industry culture to, to, to uh, reach, that, reach that goal. But to reach that goal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, Paul, then what are people in the industry doing? What are we seeing happen to kind of highlight that, to highlight inclusion? Sure. So, Messer is very proud to uh, support uh, Construction Inclusion Week as an ambassador sponsor this year. And uh, we urge other construction companies to uh, really come together to help elevate this important work. Uh, internally, we're educating our employees at Messer. Uh, we're doing it through a workshop. Uh, we're also posting specific DE&I tips uh, for Messer employees throughout the week. Uh, we're also handing out hard hat stickers, uh, really to help our employees to uh, communicate and celebrate the week. I love that. Do you see them kind of, you know, jumping onto this and saying, yes, like, I want to get involved? Absolutely. That's great. All right. So, Marlies, your title is, in fact, Economic Inclusion Manager. So I want to talk to you then. What are you seeing? What's happening on the ground? Yeah. With Gilbane, we think about we build more than buildings. We're building partnership with our diverse and small owned businesses, and we're generating that willingness to help them with the willingness, the opportunity, and also internally with our employees for that local culture change. Um, Gil Bain has committed to build, have $4 billion of spend with diverse, small, minority, veteran, LGBTQ plus communities, and we're on track to meet this goal. With that effort, we put a 20% goal on all of our projects. Wow. Internally, we have uh, employee resource groups that develops our employees culturally to let them know about things going on within Gilbane. Um, we believe at Gilbane during a Construction Inclusion Week, we're in alignment with what's going on in that. And I'll just read the daily, there's weekly events for it. Sure. Each day, the theme, the first one is commitment and accountability, belonging, supplier diversity, workforce culture, and community engagement. Okay, so do you see, Marlies, do you see people kind of gravitating to this? Do you see a way for smaller businesses to take this on and become part of this? Definitely. As, as I'm out in the community doing outreach events and at events, I always promote our programs. Yeah. But people, companies are willing to get ready for what's coming aboard, especially because there's so much construction going on. In yes, isn't that the truth? We see it everywhere. So it's a great time to kind of bring this to the forefront. Yeah. Um, so, Paul, as well, how can smaller companies get involved? Sure. Well, one thing they can do is make a commitment to inclusion from the top leadership within the company, like Messer does and then set goals for your company. And you can use some resources like Construction Inclusion Week and COCAP's websites to help with that. And then um, educate your site leaders on how to talk about inclusion on your project sites. Small companies like us, we're, we're people businesses and people run our work. So our people have to be able to talk about inclusion for us to influence better results. Yeah, and it's, a, it's often just about offering them that education to say, hey, we're here with you. You know, right. let's go along. Um, Stan, I mentioned you are here representing COCAP. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this organization and kind of what you do on the daily. Absolutely. So COCAP is really about partnering individuals to great training and then ultimately a great career in construction. And so there's plenty of ways to connect, but I recommend using our website, cocapohio.com. That's a spot where people looking to get into the industry can connect, as well as trainers to connect and ultimately employers. That's it's an incredible resource. And I want to ask too, just the benefits of kind of being in the construction industry. You know, what would you say to people out there who might be considering this as a career or who have never considered it, but should? I would tell them that there is a career opportunity here in construction. There's a long-term career opportunity here. And COCAP is great because it allows companies like Messer and Gilbane to come together to really talk about that opportunity. 
also allows us to talk to, about important topics like diversity, equity, and inclusion. Absolutely. All right. Well, it has been a pleasure getting to know you. I want to send people to the websites, all the information up on there ahead of next week's um, Construction Inclusion Week. So thank you guys for being here. Thank, thank you. you.